Welcome to the Grabbing the Brisket podcast. We definitely appreciate the listen. Do us a favor and click the like and follow to keep up with what's latest going on with the Grabbing the Brisket crew. Also, do us a favor, man. Drop us a review. We would love to hear the feedback. Good, bad, or Alden would say indifferent. Dang it, Bobby. Just grab the brisket. See, I'm trying to just see if there's uh, any celebrity or anything out there. that Like, like Wee Man. Wee Man just happened to be posting a barbecue pic. They yeah. reached out to him, and that, that was how we got him on. So Yeah, I think we really boosted his celebrity a little. Yeah. That's how it works when you get on grabbing the brisket. I know. Okay. Yeah, all you celebrities out there that are listening, re- <laughs> reach out. He came on and then gave us his marinade for his fajitas <laughs> instead of us helping him with his barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, he didn't really give us the whole recipe. He just yeah. gave us some tips. Yeah. But, what was uh, it, the orange juice? Well, the don't tell him. Go back and listen, y'all. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, it's, there's got to be other... I mean, I'm sure we probably have, like, secret, like, closet celebrities that listen to our show. Oh, and just, sure. I can't say anything about these guys or contact them, but I... I know, they know, we know, just secretly. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> Listen, I, the I know, we know, they know secretly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know, that I know that you know. Yes. But if there's a celebrity out there that we don't know about, that the listeners know about, that that listens or not listens, but cooks barbecue or is into barbecue, let us know because we're looking for him. Did you ever reach out? To, uh, Dusty uh, said he's got a buddy that's uh, really good friends with uh, Richard Rawlings. You reach out to him. I think I did through like Instagram or something, but I'm sure he gets like a bajillion messages a day. Okay, well, maybe we'll get Dusty to reach out to his friend to. Yeah, if you don't know who him. that is. That's uh, Gas Monkey. Gas Garage. Monkey Garage. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently he's he's 2021 20, or whatever. He's he's got like a some type of restaurant food type a, a new car. One. Yeah, food type. It's like food. It's gonna be cars. I I don't know. Dusty was telling me about it, so I was like, oh shit. I mean. Wouldn't mind having the guy on. That would be cool because he's a uh, he's got a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's pretty funny too. He's got a lot. Of, he's a high energy individual. Yeah, well, he is. Like <laughs> some people, you watch, you're like, yeah, that dude. I mean, he's energetic. He can talk. Like he's a he's like a a really good Jan. Mm. A really good Jan. Wow. <laughs> like, like he's like, not here, by the way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I would say it if he was. Here. <laughs> uh, love Jan. So. uh can I brag on my kid a little bit? Yeah, go for it. Oh, the same kid who was eating ketchup with pancakes this morning? No. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, we'll, oh, the other we'll kid. Talk about that. We'll okay. circle back to that one. Um, <laughs> no, John John finally finished his... I say finally. That wasn't very nice. John John finished his uh, Eagle Board of Review, so he is officially an Eagle Scout. Yay. Awesome. Hey. So. God dang. Such a relief. Golf clap. Yeah. Yeah. So super excited about that. Now yeah. I've got to start writing. I know, you, I know you put a lot of work in, and I know you guys put a lot of work in yourself so hey big shout out to you guys for hey you guys helped out too a lot it is true hours and hours of um (laughs) is he gonna like is he gonna do like a speech or something or there will be some sort of usually get a ceremony yeah ceremony Ceremony. or party it'll be like a ceremony where they present it to him you know stuff like that like like a podium or something and then it's like yeah he will nice i hope he gives me a shout out (laughs) i'm sure he will yeah yeah i will make him yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm sure he will. Yeah. Shout positive. out to my uh, dad's a friend, neighbor, who uh, helped me um, <laughs> cook briskets and stuff. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll be in the audience. Say his name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. James just stands yeah. up and is like, oh. Uh. <laughs> should, should I stand or should, should I bow? Or Am I going up there? I mean. <laughs> uh, scoot up, John. <laughs> Let me talk about this from the beginning. <laughs> But we're going to go back in the very beginning of um, my early childhood, right. and then we're going to talk about my scout experience. I was born in a small town. Very small town, and I'll tell you about my scout experience. It was not as probably memorable as <laughs> your kid's scout experience. Mine was ran by a guy, and I can't remember his name, um, but he was... Uh, Pretty much drunk most of the time. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why there's those rules I, of no drinking. That's right. frowned upon. <laughs> yeah. I, I just have memories of, hey, uh, go outside and like collect bugs or... <laughs> go start a fire. Do something. Yeah. I mean, not in here. Just I 
daddy's got a little bit of a headache. Just go <laughs> outside. Um, we did build like a, um, it's like a little push cart. Uh, we d- did oh, enter yeah, one yeah. like little push cart race, mm-hmm. um, uh, which I do believe we won. So nice. that was, that was pretty good. We made it out of a push lawnmower. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, strapped like a milk crate on top of uh, where the engine should be. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, no helmet. Just <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're using like uh, just a bucket or something with a strap or something. I mean, honestly, it was That's good fun. times. Yeah, yeah, good times. Uh, it sounds like you have great memories. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, that only lasted for like maybe one summer. Oh, okay. That yeah. was it. Yeah. yeah. Well, Matt has a, probably some good uh, scouting memories. He's the, the honorary Eagle Scout around here. Honorary, yeah. Is that the right word, honorary? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'll accept that, yeah. Honorary. Perfect. But uh, no, we just, my, my group, we just did a whole lot of like, uh, it was all the high adventure group. It was all like backpacking out in the mountains. Like you go up in a week for a week with all your supplies and you just go through the whole, like the whole trek and we ha- hiked mm. up in the Continental Divide. Um, yeah, see, that sounds badass. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, John John had no interest in that side of it at all really no. he did like very little high adventure he was like let me just finish what i have to do <laughs> uh, except for he did do cavalcade one summer i don't even know what that is basically it was a summer camp where they had a higher adventure option where you basically rode around on horses the whole week like all he took with him was like what he could fit in like one of those little bags on the horses i don't mm-hmm. know what they're called uh that was it and like a sleeping bag and he just rode around all week i saw him like once in the middle of the week he they rode through camp and refilled their water or whatever they mm. did and then we're gone again for the rest of the week but that was but he loved that he didn't have to walk <laughs> the horse did all the work <laughs> he just stop and eat every once in a while and uh, the most fun thing i did was um it's called sea base in florida he and, did do that one too. yeah and that that was really cool I, I forget how old i was it was we were in high school and you basically go down to florida and they got a little bay there and they're like people come volunteer with their boats so there's a guy, and he's going to be showing up with his sailboat so we can sail all the way down the Florida Keys and back. Mm. So we're all like, man, I hope, it's, I hope it's Captain Ron. I hope it's Captain Ron. He shows up like, hi, I'm Captain Don. We're all like, yes, close enough. <laughs> we'll you take know? that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, for and, our young listeners, Captain Ron was a movie back in the yeah, 90s. Right, right yeah. And, uh, but that was really fun because we got to like you know man the anchor, hoist the sails and everything. We sailed all the way down to, to the um, Key West. And we would just stop, you know, every once in a while and do some fishing and catch uh, yellowfin uh, and, all, like, just cook it right on the boat and go snorkeling, all kinds of stuff. See, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Nice. And that, that dude was crazy, too, Captain Don, because there was one night, it's like, he, we told him we want to try to catch a shark. And he's like, okay, you know, you got to wait until the sun's going down. You know, that's like the dusk is the perfect time to try to catch him. So we have all this, like, fish guts and everything we've been saving up. And we start pitching all that into the water Free around the boat. Chubbing yeah, the water. Yeah, trying to attract <laughs> sharks before we throw our lines in. He's like, all right, well, I'll see you guys in the morning. We're like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm just going to go to shore. He was like going to go to some bar or something. <laughs> like, we're chumming for sharks, and you're going to go jump in the water and swim ashore? He's like, I'll be fine. Dude, just, it's like a mile to shore. <laughs> and he just swam jumped, there? Yeah, he just jumped off and swam off, and we stayed on the boat overnight. And then, like, the next morning, we see him on the shore. Like, he's, like, just come paddling that's, back that's out to the boat. totally boat. unsafe. Like, <laughs> he just hops in, yeah. It sounds like Captain Don was my, <laughs> my cub master. <laughs> Scouts was so, different back yeah. then. Yeah. Wow. That was fun. Then we got to Key West. And we, by the t- we, we had saved up all our money for the whole time. And we didn't have a whole lot of money left. So we were just eating at Burger King for every meal because we had, like, nothing. And uh, me and my buddy went and we got a Burger King bag and we like rolled it up, you know, and, and then we went over to the uh, bank across the street and we had like the Burger King crowns. We put them on sidewards and we were just leaning up against the bank there outside of it. And people would walk out of the bank and see us and like toss us some money <laughs> thinking we were like homeless kids or something. Oh, man, it was good. And so we wow. would just take that money and go get some like lunch or whatever. Wow, yeah. this guy's an Eagle Scout. <laughs> hey, resourceful. They uh, are very resourceful. I mean, yeah. uh, I'm sure you made a few dollars. Uh, it's, <laughs> all those other kids are like, dang, we wish we had a little little uh, extra money. But Yeah, we like we just ended up walking down some street. We had nothing to do. There's no plan. There's like, yeah, just go have fun in Key West. you know. So we just started walking down some street and ended up in some like rich neighborhood. And it's like some real fancy real estate office in the neighborhood. And they had a really nice like platter of like food and hors d'oeuvres and stuff. So we're like, yeah, our parents are, you know, looking for a house in the neighborhood. And he's like, oh, well, let me go get some flyers and stuff. And so he walks out of the room. We just like scarf down all this food and like just bolt out of there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a fun trip. Mm. That was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Quite a slime ball. So you had, you had Captain Don. Uh, <laughs> Captain I Don, feel like yeah. my, uh, my scout, um, 
what do you call them? Scout leader? Scout, uh, what do you call the... Yeah, your leader? Okay. Scout master, whatever. Yeah. Scout yeah. master. Mine was Uncle Gene. So <laughs> I feel like that we went through our own separate uh, division of scouts, right. or whatever. So we learned everything, pretty much. I mean, learned a lot from my dad, but Uncle Gene was the outdoors type cook, tent, whatever. It was like they were gone all the time, just going camping and all that good stuff. So... We learned a crap ton of, I mean, at an early age of like, I don't know, seven, eight or whatever, we, we get like a Christmas present of a giant survival knife that <laughs> yeah. was like, you know, like Rambo style. Like, I mean, literally just a foot long, it's got the compass, it had all the little hooks and all that stuff into it. Here you guys go. We're like, okay. And then, of course, my uncle had some property. Me and Jan were just like... Boom, strap on the knife, um, get our, <laughs> our, our pellet guns or BB guns or whatever, yeah. and then boom, we, we're gone for the day. We're just shoot shit, cut shit up, <laughs> haunt, whatever. I mean, yes. I was like, hindsight, looking back, because, I mean, again, it might not have been the safest or whatever idea, but, I mean, it's back in the day. Yeah. It's like, I mean, not to, not to be vulgar or whatever, but, I mean, they, they raised, uh, I guess, Kids were a little bit different back then. You know what I mean? You yeah. know, not trying to go the whole, oh, 90s were, you know, 80s were just badass, you know, kids back then, they just, you know, blow shit up. And, you know, you always see those memes or whatever. People like, you know, with their little, uh, what's the big wheels? Like uh, when <laughs> yeah, they sit there yeah. jumping in on a ramp or whatever <laughs> yes. with no helmet or anything like that. You're like, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, we weren't pussies back yeah. then. So we're just like. It was just different. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. All right. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I got to go check on that meat. Okay. Tell them about where we're cooking while I'm gone. We got all kinds of stuff cooking today. Yeah, so uh, Matt is busting out his Oklahoma Joe. So I think you've probably seen pictures of the smoker. Mm-hmm. I've actually posted a video today of his brisket going. Okay, nice. I don't know. It was probably halfway through. Yeah, it's pretty good. We got like I did see that uh, somebody commented like um, I don't know if it's Instagram or wherever you posted the picture of Matt doing the unboxing or assembling mm-hmm. of the the Joe whatever. And somebody was like, just use the pit in the background. Yeah, I did. Yeah, why aren't you using the pit in the background? He's like, because that's not mine. Yes, and it's funny because when I took that picture, I told Matt, somebody's going to say something about the pit in the background, yeah. which is James's big trailer pit. Yeah. So, but yeah, he seems uh, super happy with this thing so far. That's good. I mean, it's these are like these entry-level yeah. smokers that, that you can purchase at Academy or Lowe's or whatever it is. Yeah, you can and find this thing. So it's kind of like... For me, it's like I mean, well, we, we've always had the the, little, the trailer um, pit, mm-hmm. but I know Matt's had one previously, um, and I'm thinking about getting one. Just I can just throw in the backyard. Um, super easy, super super versatile, and they're not that hard to maintain fire and yeah. all that stuff like that. So uh, we're throwing down. A, I say we. I'm just going to eat it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they are throwing down a lot of barbecue today. So Matt's doing a brisket. I think I saw some chicken wings, some... Yeah, we got some turkey legs, turkey legs. sausage, boudin. Uh, you are cooking a pork loin as we speak. I am doing a pork loin for my mom. So, yeah. She uh, she gave it to me uh, well, well, a couple days ago. Can you put, cook me a pork loin? I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, this is Friday. She's like, it's in the freezer right there. I'm like, I think, Mom, you didn't, like, thaw it out. <laughs> so I got to throw it in the fridge and let it thaw out for a couple of days. So finally I got it, whatever. She's like, but uh, just make sure you put a lot of seasoning on it. I'm like, okay, mom. I mean, I know how to season stuff. <laughs> just, just put a lot of seasoning. I'm like, oh, all right, mom, I'm going to put a lot of seasoning on it. So I'm just going <laughs> to, I busted out the, uh, the Lowry season, you know, salt and busted that out. And then I threw down the hardcore carnivore red on it. I mean, the ribs that we did last weekend, she tore them up. Yeah. And all I used was just hardcore carnivore red. It's good stuff. It, it was look, it. It looks was, amazing. It was, it was really good. And um, it was it was so good that uh, I personally like a little sweetness, but she didn't really care for the sweetness. But it was so good that her friends would come over uh, that uh, that uh, we got a friend that's uh, staying with her right now. But uh, a neighbor, her friends come over and like, oh, hey, uh. You think I can have a rib? And mom's like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can go ahead and have a rib. Oh, my God. This is the best rib ever. Can I get another one? No, you can't. <laughs> one. You get one rib. That's it. First one's free. First one's free. Next yeah. one, you get yeah. it back. Right. 
Mom's like, uh, I'm going to need you to go do this for me, and then I'll, I'm, I'm going to pay you in ribs. <laughs> and she's like, James, can you cook me another rack of ribs? But no, that, we didn't have that conversation. But <laughs> Hardcore Carnival Red, it is a just a solid, all-around great seasoning. Yeah. For pork, I've used it on chicken, and it's it was good, uh, but I really like it on pork. Yeah, I think it agrees with pork. Yeah. yeah. And it, when, you, when you use it... it you just get this bright red like color. Oh yeah, you can't beat the color. No, like I don't know if they've added something in there for it. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. But it looks awesome and it tastes great. Yeah, if I was going to develop a rub, I would want whatever. I don't know if it's a certain type of paprika or if they're some type of color additive that makes it like bright red. I don't shit. I don't yeah. know because I don't when I use when I make rubs myself. And I'm like, okay, well, obviously, chili powder, paprika. I mean, that, that's where it gets the vibrant red color but I, mean, I swear to god i can i can use a whole pack of paprika right with a little salt and pepper and it still does not look as right well if red you just that. look at like just paprika it's not as red as right hardcore carnival red mm, so yeah but i know there's companies out there that will basically dye your seasonings so i'm not saying she does that i'm just saying there are companies that do. why don't meet church um they said in one of their youtube videos that that their holy cow seasoning Used to be just like, look like a SPG. I mean, it was just salt, pepper, mm. garlic, all this stuff like that. But I guess marketing wise, they got with him and it was like, okay, this is good, but the red seasoning seemed to sell more mm-hmm. than, than just a regular, just like SPG type rub. So, yeah. But essentially, holy cow is just an SPG rub yeah. that's dyed and it's very kind of granulated. The, so you That's get a that. good rub too. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know uh, much about his chicken injection, um, but <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll get into that. In a, yeah, we should get into a, that in a minute. In a minute, <laughs> or maybe when the, the guys come back, maybe the next episode we'll we'll get into whatever. I don't, I'm just not a big fan. I mean, I'm just going to put it right there. So yeah, we'll leave it there cliffhanger. Maybe I didn't. Uh, teaser. Maybe I didn't use it properly. Um, which. That's not true because I mean I follow the directions. <laughs> <laughs> so something happened. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the chicken. We'll blame it on the chicken. Yeah, the we'll, chicken. We'll talk about it uh, a little bit later on. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I guess I'll, I'll just cover this real quick. The um, the ketchup on the pancakes. Oh yeah. Mm, let's yeah. See. see, I was joking when I when I was like, "Is that ketchup on the pancakes?" And then I was thinking like, maybe it's like that strawberry syrup. You know, you know, yeah. talking nope. about. No, yeah, no, nope. it, it was ketchup. It's making. Some pan- oh, I didn't make them. I, we ordered some pancakes. We ordered some breakfast in. And uh, he said, I'll just take some pancakes with ketchup. I was like, wait. So what, I didn't understand. I was like, you make pancakes and maybe like some eggs with some ketchup? Because I've done that. He's like, no. Just put the, put the ketchup on the pancakes. I'm like, have you had this before? He's like, yeah, that's how I always eat them. Like, what the hell, kid? Like, this is the same kid that put the uh, milk in his bowl before the cereal. So th- this mm. kid may or may not. Grow up and kill somebody. Right. I'm glad you said it because I was thinking it. Yeah. So we just need to keep an eye on him. That's like, all. Yeah, That's all. Definitely yeah. a sociopath or <laughs> something is wrong. Something. There. Something. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, that's definitely terrifying stuff right there. Right. Yeah. Have uh, you ever seen Dexter? The show Dexter. Yes. We need to channel that into okay. a healthy medium. Uh, okay. A healthy killer. <laughs> right. Got it. We'll just uh, we'll teach him how to like butcher um, animals. Yes. Not like not <laughs> laid back then. Not like. Cats, <laughs> cats or dogs. Uh, yeah. We're talking about cows and and pigs, so uh, that way he can, you know, yeah, he can start his own roadside barbecue <laughs> joint that serves. And I'm not saying slaughterhouse. Uh, I mean, you do that for a while, then you're probably going to be like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like uh, yeah. you know, right. sitting there hacking everybody up. But that's uh, that's pretty that's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the other end of the does spectrum. he like ketchup on everything? Yeah, uh, he likes ketchup. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Maybe he does. I never noticed it before until this morning. What well, uh Matt, did you put that order in with the Craig. rib candy? I did. Okay. Yep. Did you get the ketchup or did you order the ketchup? I didn't. I don't think anybody ordered the ketchup. Oh, I thought you said ketchup. Anyways, uh-huh. yeah. Um now we got That uh, would have been really good things, like give him some spicy yeah. habanero oh, yeah. ketchup like to that. put on those pancakes. I almost think it was like oh. you can get like savory like hot cakes, you know, and talking about like some type of like yeah, but I still, I mean, putting ketchup, uh, yeah. Mm-mm. 
Oh, yeah, but from uh, Craig's, we got uh, a big order put in. We got jellies, rib candy, seasonings. So um, I'm going to, I plan on doing some ribs here in the future when that all comes in. I'm going to do all with his stuff. So use his jelly, his seasoning, you know, the sauce, the whole nine yards. Just 100% Craig's. Texas pepper jelly. Texas pepper jelly, yeah. So I guess one kid is successful, one's crazy let me tell you a third story (laughs) let me tell you a story about the middle kid the other middle kid Uh so he recently got some uh, gift cards from amazon or for amazon and decided to spend them on some smart bulbs for his room smart light bulbs and uh which i didn't really know were a thing but anyway so he gets them gets them in his room whatever he tells me dad come in here and check this out so i go in his room and he says hey alexa it's luke time and Alexa says, hell yeah, it's Luke time. <laughs> Lights dim, and then they turn red. About two seconds later, Kenny G starts playing. <laughs> yeah, it was a... Uh, first I was like, oh, that's... Wait, no, that's disturbing, <laughs> Luke. Like, it was gross. Has I he was, been inviting any girls over to the house lately? He does have a girlfriend. Uh-oh. So. But yeah, <laughs> nice. When she said, hell yeah, it's Luke time, like she repeated it back to him, I was like, Oh, what is this? <laughs> and then red lights, and I was like, okay, red lights, that's cool. And then Kenny G starts playing. Are you guys running out of like, um, like lotion and um, <laughs> long showers, you know, Kleenexes, uh, and I just don't know. Sight- uh, there's definitely long showers. But yeah, that, that song kicked on. I was like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, face, I was like face, FaceTime and his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, he's just giggling Ooh. and laughing. I'm like, oh, God. That's one thing that's like, it's kind of terrifying. Like for me, it's like, okay, so you worry about your, your kids and okay, they're, they're going out on a date or they're, uh, well now wait until you're 16, wait until you're a little bit older or whatever. But nowadays they just have a girlfriend and that girlfriend doesn't even have to come over. Right. They just get on their phone and like FaceTime each other. Like, um, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a different weird times that we live in. Yeah, I know. Anyways, so my kids are all over the freaking place. I don't know. Do you guys, uh, hey, show recommendation, you guys <clears throat> at home listening, Big Mouth on Netflix, that's, it's a great show. Yes, we brought this up once before. Did it's we? something. Yeah, it's a great show. It's very just not for kids, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's messed up. Yeah. What is it about? Like, um, It's about kids going through puberty. Oh, okay. And once they reach the puberty age, you're visited by a hormone monster. Oh, it, oh, this the animated thing. The animated okay, one. Yeah, yeah, you showed yeah. us that. So, yeah, it's no, definitely we're, not we're for kids. Talking, no, oh, no. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, check out the show because yeah. yeah. don't watch it with your kids. And probably don't watch it with your wife. She probably won't appreciate it either. <laughs> yeah, I was watching it with Laura. She was like, "Oh my god!" Like, I was like. It was season two, episode one. I was like, and it just right off the bat, just off the rails. I'm like, holy crap. I was like, it's really not like this. But uh, <laughs> then when it's like whole like montage singing type deal that had like um, very just graphic. Um, uh, I, yeah, I'm not going to go into it as far as whatever. But one of the things that's like funny is like the big mouth character, which is like Nick Kroll. Um, he was on the league. Mm-hmm. So he just so anxious to do get into puberty because his friend is already going through it right uh and so he woke up one morning and and he like uh pulled his shorts down and he had like two pubic hairs (laughs) (laughs) and each pubic hair is sitting there just talking (laughs) (laughs) he's like holy crap it's happening or whatever but it goes yeah he's like he's super excited then he gets like uh, he goes into the bathroom. It might have been a little later in the episode, but he goes to the bathroom. And I guess he pulled his shorts down. He actually grabbed one of the hairs and ripped it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just has this like whole like uh, die hard the dude falling off of the, the, the motion, Nakatomi yeah. Tower, just slow motion <laughs> down into the rim of the toilet and just hanging there. And he's just like, oh my God. Help me. And he's like, what do I do? What do I do? And the other one's just like, no. And, oh, man, it's... He ended up, like, blowing it and flushing it down the toilet. <laughs> I was like, this show is the greatest thing ever. But, yeah, it's awful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's awful. <laughs> All right, back to barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's our uh, 
coverage of pubes for this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, our demographic of... Um, <laughs> I know John was running down the numbers to me, but the, the demographic of the 12 to 16-year-old range, mm-hmm. really hitting it uh, yeah. uh, as far as the numbers go. So it's... Uh, that was for them. It goes from 12 to 16 to like 50 to... Yeah. Sick. We, we don't get in the middle there because... No. no. They're busy. They're busy. They got stuff to do. They're, they're making money. So you were telling me the other day that the website was getting a lot of clicks. So that is awesome. Yeah. It's actually doing pretty good we're trying to put out more content the rib recipe is up if you Mm -hmm. haven't checked that out check it out uh the pork steak recipe should be up by the time this there's so if you haven't seen that but no check that out um yeah i don't know it's doing really good al must be doing a good job giving the business i'm sure that's it (laughs) yeah definitely when he gives the business the the what yeah. you call it, the numbers of the, oh, the yeah. website you just can see spike. The spike right there. Yeah. Right. Instantaneously. Uh, like yeah. even though we're recording this like a week right. prior. <laughs> As he's saying it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days we'll go live. I think we're still kind of like uh, leery about going live. Yes, because some people say some dumb shit on yeah. there. We're always trying to hold ourselves back and you know, not we all, but some um <clears throat> do not hold it I'll back. Run. And it just <laughs> it has to get it has to get deleted and a little so, editing edited. Yeah. So, but yeah, for sure. All right. Do we need to check meats? Let's go check meat. Let's take a break. Take a commercial time out. Yeah. Commercial break. Commercial break. Okay. Hey. And then we'll come back with the beer review. Do we want to do a beer review? Yeah, let's do it. We definitely want to do a beer review. We do. All right. So you missed a jam while you, you weren't here. We, we uh, went over John John's uh, Eagle Scout. So congratulations to him. We went over a little bit of our experience in the Cub Scouts. Yeah, I mean we had alcoholic as a den leader. <laughs> yep, we went it over was that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, let's go into the grabbing the brisket beer review. The what? The grabbing the brisket beer, beer review. review. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, James. You you maybe it's Sunday or whatever, but there's not a lot of uh, oomph in the. Uh, you're just like you're kind of slow rolled that right. Well, uh, let's just go into their grabbing their brisket beer review. Hey, this is James, your smooth listening DJ. Uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to do that? We'll do it again. No, I think we did it. We'll I think we're it. good. We'll <laughs> do it again, <laughs> and we'll do it again, and we'll keep doing it until we get keep right. Keep doing it. Yes. Because yeah, we strive okay. to bring you guys the quality that you deserve. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, quality. Speaking of quality, this is from o- Odell Brewing Company. This is their Cellar Series Barreled Treasure Coconut Chocolate Stout. Barrel aged imperial stout with coconut and chocolate. That's a mouthful. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I don't really like coconut, John. So <laughs> coconut brewing company. Is uh, that gonna really? No, I'm just kidding. Well, it's eleven percent. So maybe you'll like it by the time you're done. So with coconut it. and chocolate. Before I even drink it, I'm thinking mounds. Almond joy. Oh, yeah, those have joy? Oh, those have yeah. the uh, almonds in them. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, mounds. Like mounds this. has a dark chocolate with no almonds. Right. Yeah. I guess it is like that. This yeah. is kind of a cool little. Uh, I, I'm kind of digging this this uh, this labeling they did. And it's all bottles too. Like a lot of yeah, times you get these these beers are not. Yeah, they're always cans, right? Yeah. So, what, what does it say on the side here? Um, a reward of hidden bliss awaits uh, the intrepid explorer whose journey brings them to barreled barreled treasure. Okay, yeah, whatever. Keep going. There's like four more paragraphs. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's so much. Like, why are you putting a book on here? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey. I, you're going to get just, it at the very end, and there's going to be like a secret password that you, right. if you log on to the website, then right. it's like the Willy Wonka thing. Where <laughs> free you, beer for free life. Free beer for life. Yeah. But we're not going to read the rest of it. Uh, no, we're not. But it, I'm just going to do the profile of it. It's, um, it's aromas, notes, and sweet coconut, chocolate-covered espresso beans, and baker's chocolate. There you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm expecting I'm going to like it. I haven't taken chocolate a sip yet. Chocolate-covered mm. espresso beans. Yeah. I actually mm. love chocolate-covered espresso what beans. What percentage so. of beer drinkers do you think read their label? Like that. I mean, there's something like that on it. What? How many people are actually reading that? Uh, I usually do. Yeah. Okay. Just the mats of the world. Yeah. Right. I, I want to really would, experience the I, beer. I would probably drink it first. Just, just and, the beer and snobs. I mean. A couple <laughs> of drinks into it, I, I might have glanced through them like, uh, and I probably would have read like the first three lines and like, okay, obviously that's You really don't drink today. beer unless you actually read the label. Oh, yeah, you have to. Yeah. I mean, if you don't read it, then you're just pretty much 
an alcoholic. <laughs> right. Do you I don't hate read it. the brewmaster right. because <laughs> I just look at the pictures. <laughs> hey, hey, this is for my research, babe. <laughs> I just uh, look at the pictures. Jan reads it. Um, eleven percent alcohol by volume. That was a throwback to a story. I don't know if you guys caught that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very um, eleven alcohols. I mean, eleven alcohol percent by volume. ABV. It's good. Like that's uh, that's great. I like this. It's like wake and bake right now. Yeah, yeah, but it's this like, one tastes uh, this is good. It's a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. Really you like barrel age, you know, it's like kind of mm-hmm. harsh. If no. you don't like coconut, then this is not for you. You said so, you don't like coconut. <laughs> yeah. So he's no, saying I actually do lie. I was just making a joke. Oh, okay. Well. Right. <laughs> coconut joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a ridiculous AF married a... Coconut tree. A Malibu rum. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right, this is a... I'm just kidding, guys. I think this is smoother than Ridiculous AF. It, it, it's a lot smoother. Mm-hmm. I would put this above Ridiculous AF. Whoa, whoa. You've been saying that a lot recently, mm-hmm. and I don't like it. This is a weird one. I'm worried. Am I wrong 11% with it? now how fast I'm drinking this thing. <laughs> right. It's, it's, she's, she's thick for sure. <laughs> she's like, thick. Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely got a mouthful here. Um, but I dig the bottles. I love the bottles. We don't, we don't buy many beers that are in bottles we don't we don't what's the recycle value on this <laughs> what's it matter? just kidding <laughs> depends just on kidding. the state Brandon. <laughs> i love it i why love do, it why do certain states give you more money than other states you know yeah. what i mean i don't know i think they charge you more when you buy them and then they just hope that you don't return them yeah so we got uh, um it says it on it oh boy <laughs> Five cents if you're in Connecticut, Hawaii. Hey, this is a yeah. beer review just, or a bottle just review? Click that <laughs> right. 15 second fast forward button now. Yeah. Yeah. MI, what is that? Minnesota? No. Michigan. 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 So you actually get 10 cents in Michigan. Nice. You get Sweet. double. Yeah. Well, I'll give you mine and you can take it up there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do they just like have a shortage of glass bottles that they're just paying more for? We really need them up there. They're, <laughs> they're hurting for glass well, bottles. Let's send them. Let's just mail them there. I can just imagine. I can <laughs> well, I picture bottles. the whole Sandlot scene where they go around collecting the Coke bottles just so they can buy baseball. So maybe we should uh, collect all these bottles and pull them to Michigan in a wagon. How many <laughs> bottles do we need to, to get a brisket? <laughs> Tense. Uh, Let's hold on. 10 cents per bottle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we need probably at least 60 bucks. So what's that, like 600 bottles or so? And we're going to spend that's... $600 on gas to drive there. Uh-huh. Plus the <laughs> bottles. If we're buying these, that's going to be a lot of money. Plus you got to drink them, <laughs> right? <laughs> Might be cheaper to buy the brisket. Yeah. Anywho, anybody got a score? I do. I have a big score in my head right now. Yeah. Rip it. Yep. Let's hear it. 4.5. What? That's not a big score. <laughs> What? 4.5. Well, do you want to tell us why? This is not a good beer. You don't like the flavor? Not as good strong. as. Uh, no, it's the flavor just sucks. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, the toasted coconut or whatever it is on that back end, it's so coconutty. I just don't like it. It is all. very coconutty. It's not even. It's like an artificial coconut or something. There, I don't like that. That's not. Hmm. It's not good beer. This is, this should not ever be sold anywhere. Okay, you're obviously way <laughs> off base. <laughs> so you gave it a four point five, which is barely a below average. So. I can finish the beer. Anything over a four is I, means I can finish it. Okay. Yeah. I, wow. That's not, yeah, not okay. a good beer. You're being hurtful. It's very off putting. I'm sorry, Odell. Yeah, Brewery. What did Odell Brewing do to you? I don't know. I <laughs> I, I, I wanted to like this. Is it the name? Is it Odell Beckham? It is. It reminds me of Odell Beckham. The That's Giants. why I don't like is it. Is that why you don't like That's it? That's why I don't like it. Oh. So, Matt? Uh, I like this a little bit more than Jan. <laughs> it might double his score right here. Uh, I, I'm going uh, 8.6. Oh, my nice. God. Because I love coconut. I mm. love chocolate covered espresso beans. <laughs> Obviously, you don't and, know what flavor. Uh, this is, is getting good. all those flavors. Mm. And it's super smooth. For an eleven percent barrel aged beer, like I can't believe how smooth it is. Yeah, um, clearly, Jan. This uh, is this your first beer today? Did you just wake up, get dressed, come over here, and have a beer? I've been up for since nine. I've been drinking water. I <clears throat> yeah, what? Just drinking water since nine. Okay. Clearly, your palate's not right. Did you just have an orange juice or something? No. I'm Do you gonna, have COVID? I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> I, can't, I can't smell or taste anything. Yeah, as you'd say to Alvin, like try nothing. it one more time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm with Matt. Uh, I think it's tasty. It's chocolatey. It's coconutty. And it, like he said, this is super smooth. For an 11% mm-hmm. beer, this is like, 
These will get you in trouble real quick. Most beers that are that strong give you a reminder. They're like a little bite where you're like, eee, this doesn't do that. This is smooth. This mm. tastes smooth like a tasty AF, which is, you know, only like 5% or whatever. This is good. I'm going to go 8. Oh, man. Four. Guys. There you go. How much have y'all drank today? That's the question. This is my first beer today. What's my first beer? Well, you're not good at first beers. <laughs> James, help me out here, man. Come you're on. much better at like 11th beers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go probably in between you guys. I mean, like, I'm not. It's definitely more smoother than the ridic- ridiculous AF. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't have that harsh, just like bitterness that I get with, with, with the peanut butter chocolate stout, but. It's smooth. I mean, it's got the high alcohol content. I mean, I, I like it. So I would probably maybe I'll okay. go with six. Yeah. A six even? Six even. That's what do we call score. that? That's a rookie oh, score. Okay. That's, that's what, what happens. happens. Yeah. That's what happens people do rookie You ass know, it's shit. like uh, the ridiculous AFs to me, that's more like, like I'm drinking a dessert almost. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is definitely like more beer like. Like, I feel like I'm more drinking a beer when I drink this than the AFs. But I think I still rated the AF higher. I may have to. The AF know. is way better than this. That back end, there's something on that back end, just not good for me. I mean, I, it just might be coconut and the coffee, coconut. and you probably yeah. don't like that pat that those flavors. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're just not a big coconut fan. Maybe I do got a little buzz though, <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> I might change my score because of that. Finish the beer, then score it again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just one more drink. Just chug yeah. it. Just, just keep, one more okay. sip. Okay, He's like, I'm right. giving this a nine. Right, here we go. <laughs> chug it, oh dear lord. That was a pretty good drink there, buddy. Okay. That was a good swaller. That was a good swaller. Um, okay, I'm not going to lie. That tit finished pretty... <laughs> uh, finished a lot better. Uh, but again, uh-huh. my cheeks are starting to go numb, so... That's I don't, a good sign. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, I, I'm not rating this thing anymore. Okay, I, I, I gave it a score. I it's gave fine. it a score. It is. It is, it is what it is, it is, right? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, hey, does that wrap it up? The rest of, hey, What's your score, James? Six point oh. Six point oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rookie wow. score. You are drunk already. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This wraps oh. up the grab. Let me do the game. This wraps <laughs> up the grab and the brisket. Beer, Beer review. Yeah, there was some pep in that one, James. Yeah. Good job. Whoa. Man. Nailed Whoa. that. Hey. Must be this he went from like the smooth, stout. the smooth jazz guy to like the you know rock channel dude. <laughs> hey, all of you cool cats, and, whatever. <laughs> cool cats and kittens. Uh, yeah. Oh man! Okay, that's really funny. So there's that. <laughs> that just happened. Oh. Uh, so. I don't know. So what? Uh, so I was y'all. you will talk about what's what's on the menu today, right? Yeah, we mm-hmm. talked about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, we're trying out some rubs from a lot of different people today. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got another Neil Serap rub. We've got some from. Beats BT Lees. BT Lees. Yeah, BT Lees. Yeah. Uh-huh. I did uh, see uh, not to. Yeah, go ahead. Interrupt you, yeah. but I did see that BT Lee's and Neil Serap were both on the American Royale 2020 um, competition. Oh, nice! Uh, and they were like, I think probably in the top like hundred or whatever. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait! As far as like com- competitors, rubs, rubs, rubs. rub. Competition. Yeah, they have a rub competition and a seasoning. I mean, a, a sauce competition as well. Oh, oh, man. Okay, should we get in on that? Is that what you're opening about? I'm right. all about that. Our uh, okay. good buddy. Um, with War Pig Barbecue, mm-hmm. his ham grenade seasoning was number three overall. Damn, I don't think we've even like really done a review of that, have we? No, what? no, we, we should probably do something with that. I've yeah. used it plenty of times and really like it. I can tell you that much. Damn, Here's the, the review. Ham grenade. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's got Matt's approval. I have a whole bottle yeah. of it set inside. So that's the ham grenade review. There it is. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> um. You made the chicken last night, right? Did you go over that, James? I, I had not. I was waiting to, for all of us what, to get here to what that was. To discuss that was a, the meat church injection. That was a nightmare. Uh, can we can we just say this is a barbecue fail? Oh man, it's De- a, definitely barbecue fail. It's a meat church barbecue fail as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was like chicken gravy sitting inside of the damn chicken. See, okay. that doesn't sound like a fail. <laughs> when you sliced into it and it oozed out, it looked like a fail. Mm-hmm. It was the bad kind of ooze out. Yeah, I don't, not the good I, kind of ooze out. I don't know what that means. Did I get it? Oh, okay, so <laughs> right. back. I, I didn't There's think we're going to get into bad it. Ooze. We're going to probably wait until we get everybody on board. But let's go into it and let's get into after yeah. it. So I'm a huge fan of the foul play from Lucky Charms. Great stuff. Great stuff. You guys go out there, purchase that stuff. Super great. 
So, but I ran out. So I was like, let me just run down to Ace. They have a pretty good selection of seasonings and rubs and, I mean, uh, seasoning sauces and injections. And then they have a whole line of Meat Church, which I'm a mega fan of their rubs. I mean, mm-hmm. the the Honey Hog, the Holy Cow, the Gospel, all this stuff's great. I never used their injections. I think it's relatively new, that injection, isn't it? No, it's been out, been out for a while. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Um, he has the, the injections and he has the, the soaks, the brines as well. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, let me just go ahead and just get a bag of the chicken injection or the poultry injection or whatever it is. I used it like it said out of the package. No, I added like uh, a little bit of a like Worcestershire mm-hmm. um, to it to, to, to pump up the flavor just a little bit. It was uh, right off the bat. I know this. It was a little bit thick and it's almost kind of like if people out there listening, it's it's the Tony Sashri's injection that we all use uh, during Thanksgiving, the the, the yeah, jalapeno, yeah. whatever. It's a little bit thick. It's not as like just chicken broth is what you would do with like Most Lucky chicken, Charms. Yeah. So it's a little bit thick. So I went in and injected it normally how I inject, like into the breast, a couple little things here and there, and then into the legs and into the thigh. All great. All gravy? Oh, all gravy. <laughs> At least I thought. But I did hold back on, so I did two chickens, so I did hold back on one of the chickens, the, the, the two halves, just in case it didn't come out that great. Mm-hmm. Smart. So let me just pull back and whatever. So cooked them. Everything came out great. I was well. excited. I had people over. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. I, I'm opening uh, up the uh, Cambro uh, pan that I had them sitting there resting. Let me, let me just say, it's always great to try new things when you're having people over. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, right. Don't worry about the this tried the and true. the first time I ever did this. Right. Just, just. I pulled out the, the, the badass grabbing the brisket cutting board that I had. Nice. nice. Um, and I went to slicing. Like, no big deal. Like, hey, this is just going to be super awesome chicken. The first cut, great. Second cut, great. And to like hit the third cut. <laughs> right. And you hit that it injection looked, spot. That pocket. I hit this like pocket of it was chicken a, gravy, as it was Jan a, said. It was at least like, I'd say a half inch hole. Your right? tablespoon yeah. of gravy pouring out or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This, Maybe more. this injection did not absorb up into the meat. It just created a huge pocket. Yep. That's just weird. I, I, I just don't understand. I, yeah. I don't understand either. Hey, once, once that sliced... It was a what was it again, Matt? A bad, a bad ooze. It was a bad ooze. A bad ooze. It was a super just, bad ooze. It looked like a bad. Somebody had a bad infection. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't want to say wow. that, but yeah, it's no, like I'm just okay. yeah. Hey, like uh-huh. think of like think of like a turkey gravy, like you see on like, like I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like a brown gravy like, yeah. consistency. Yeah. Just yeah, it sounds delicious. Just rolling it didn't out. Taste of this, horrible. Uh, just it tasted out. good. It did. It, it did. It's got a good flavor. So to your to your credit, James, you went in. Pull the meat all apart, mix it all together. That way, you, nobody could tell if they were getting ooze or not. <laughs> uh, and and then everybody chowed down on the meat. The chicken tasted really well. Just can you imagine if you were in a competition? I was just going to say, if you imagine you're a judge and you're the one that happens to make that third cut and then oh, shit starts God, oozing yeah. out like somebody yeah. popped a zit. Not Oof. good. Not good. Yeah. It's John keeps doing this so over gonna, and over. I'm going to try it again. He doesn't I, know why. I don't know if if there's something wrong with the injection or I didn't do something but i'm i mixed it according to the ingredients it was like three quarter cup of the seasoning to two cups of liquid did you just pump too much in one spot uh, maybe i mean it, i it's it, both it, breasts the same it congealed yeah it, it congealed. was thick like hmm. a gravy i injected the same as i would normally inject any chicken yeah not good hmm. just, I, next time you do it let me know just use pointers. lucky charms here's here's the thing right if you don't have lucky charms great use some chicken broth and, and some seasonings and, and use that yourself don't use this horrible thing from oh, me. Wow. I'm, just, I'm just joking. That's a joke. <laughs> He's joking. That was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, no, but yeah. Hey, maybe one of these days we can get Matt Pittman on to maybe discuss. Without a doubt. How it, to utilize this. Cause if he could uh, respond to any of my messages, that would be fantastic. Right. He'll be like, oh, you were using the concentrate. You're supposed to water that shit down. Yeah, and I'm not trying to be bitter or salty uh, on oh, Meat Church and um, his, his products. We love, love his products. products. I did have one communication with him. Way back, it was probably before the uh, the podcast, and it was competition deal, and he sent me a um, the the he has chicken fried steak breading, mm-hmm. super awesome. 
So I ordered a, a second batch of that stuff. I got there, and the package was open. Like, it mm. was flour and breading all over everywhere. in this whatever. It's like, ah, oh, fuck. So I, I shot him a picture. I was like, hey, this is how it came. Uh, can we? Can I get a – can you replace this, basically? He's like, oh, yeah, sorry. Super apologetic. Super great. Did you and, still use the first batch that was all over in the package? Yes, I used it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Quit telling my secrets, John. But – uh so super nice, super nice guy. Yeah, hey, we'll get you a replacement as soon as possible. I was like, hey, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, and he was like, hey, wh- where are you guys at? I was like, you know, basically like, uh, what where are you guys you doing? Of- Whatever is because yeah. I went under chasing more smoke. Mm. They're our competition team, and I was like, hey, we're we're South Texas. We're doing competitions. We're kicking ass. Uh, we use your products. We love it. He's like, awesome. And he he, he responded back, emailed, oh, that's super great, blah, blah blah. And then I was like. Hey, you know, if you guys are ever interested in maybe like doing a sponsorship or, or, or <laughs> uh, us representing whatever, silence, crickets. Chirp, chirp. I never chirp, heard from chirp. that guy again. Chirp, chirp. Well, he gets he, the questions asked all the time. I know he gets it. In, it's all the time, like, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, but not from us. No, not from us. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't now, matter. I, did, I had a piece of that chicken though that was like from the cavity. I did that too. was awful. I did too. That it was, was not really good. awful. It was not good. I did too. <laughs> it definitely is a barbecue fail on on my end. And, and Jan's not lying. Like if you've, the, <laughs> I, Jan the doesn't lie. <laughs> turkey giblet gravy that you get at Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. where it's kind of congealed a little bit, yeah. where it's whatever. Mm-hmm. That was the same consistency. Like you just cut into it and it just poured out. I really yeah. wish you would have like got some almost video. Almost like oh, me too. It multiplied in the there. Problem is, yeah. Like when I cut into it, like a, a cup of injection just like poured out of it. Mm. Yeah. Then you put too much in one spot. I, I, I guess. don't. I don't know. May, maybe so. I but, went like one syringe, uh, all over into the breast, and then one syringe, thigh, and leg. Yeah. Look, if it's not good, Somebody's it's not good. Over there, Let's just be honest. To me. At your meat. Is your oh, you heard that beeping all the way from over there? I just you heard something, hear yeah. Let me go check on it. Check your meat, Matt. Matt's cooking a, uh, a brisket on his brand new brand barbecue pit. Yeah, beeping, we talked about it. My brisket's already at 195 degrees. Okay. Wow. Mm. You, you, Matt's, Matt's like a Boy Scout, right? He, Matt, Matt actually is a Boy Scout. But he sets his, um, he sets his alarms 10 minutes before, or I'm sorry, 10 degrees before it should go off. Hey, that's because <laughs> a Scout he's a Boy Scout. always prepared. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He's that's an what, Eagle Scout. We were joking about it uh, he, yesterday. He, he is an Eagle Scout, right? Yeah. 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 We were joking about it yesterday on when was it was yesterday. You, you guys were going over to meet um, the gentleman that invited us out to. Yes. Backfish we need to Brewery. bring them up a little bit. Smoke um, something barbecue. Yeah. Smoke something barbecue. And we were joking because y'all guys were meeting at 1 30. And it was probably like 1 28. And Matt still wasn't here. And we're like, well, okay, well. Like, you know Matt's, like, sitting right by the door, just, like, <laughs> waiting for it to hit 130 to where he could just roll in. It's 129. Yeah, yeah, it's 129, and Matt's like, okay, I can go now. Yeah. It'll take me 10 seconds to walk across. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's super um, not not annoying because Matt is Matt's a super smart guy and, and whatever else, but um, it's funny because he, every time we do the podcast night – He's like he he lives the closest, and he's like he's on time, but he's right on time. He's usually like cleaning stuff off his face. He's like cramming a bunch of food down, eating a bunch of food, and like running out the door. And he's like, "I'm here, I'm, I'm here, I'm right here. on time." I'm gonna right, start right telling him we're recording like 20 minutes before, right? Because right. we don't have any time usually to like go over what we're gonna talk about or mm-hmm. who's coming on or what, any of that stuff. Yep, yep. So we're gonna start telling him, yeah, we're we're meeting at 7:40, Matt, <clears throat> not eight. No, right, right. Yeah. Seven forty-two. Be here at seven forty-two. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. yesterday we were at we went to Backfish. We went and met up with uh, Smoke Something Barbecue. Right, the guys there. Um, I I can't remember. Um, Christian, Christian, Johnny. Yep. And uh, let me think about the other name. I don't remember. Was he the, who, who was the big guy with the, with the beard? That's Christian. That's Christian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do, uh, do we r- really really nice guys? Yeah. Do we want to get into the whole? thing right now or do we want to save it for when everybody gets here oh oh like a normal uh, a regular podcast right, right, right. Uh, okay yeah. okay yeah, yeah that's fine yeah. all right but shout out to those guys i mean and i tried his his sandwich these guys 
brought me a sandwich back. Yep. Super great. Barbecue sauce is great. Uh, without a doubt. And, and, you know, here's the deal. Okay. He has a plan. And he's just doing it. Right? Mm-hmm. This is like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some brisket and some food. I'm going to sell brisket tacos. I'm going to go to Backfish. He talked to them. They're like, yep, come up on Saturday. You have this time. Whatever. Boom. Like, you can tell, like, it's very new for him mm-hmm. because of kind of kind of how he's set up and, and everything else, right? Um, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Like, that's his plan. He put out some food. Like, it's, the sauce was good. The brisket, you know, and we talked about it and whatever else, but um, all it does is I was like, I want to do this. I want to go set him Dude, sell some food. The guy's got some drive, you can tell. And the that's other guy's name was Dominic, I just Dominic, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, so... I really like that. So yeah, and I'm sure we'll get to it in our on our normal week, yeah, yeah, yeah. weekly we'll, we'll podcast, or whatever else. Yeah. So I I just want to buy a trailer now. Me too. Nothing nothing fancy. An airstream. No no fancy. <laughs> yep yeah, right real fancy. Yeah. I want you to buy the fanciest trailer, Jim. Yeah right okay I will. I'm gonna buy one that's not fancy. Hey, money's no object. No money yeah, money's definitely it's not. Fine. <laughs> yeah okay. All right. Well, I gotta save my money. But yes, give just give your headphones to Amy. We'll have Amy. Yep. Yep. Help us with this, right, Amy? We need we we need uh, your help. <laughs> if we could just have like twenty five thousand dollars, right? That's fine. It's give us the money, please. It's an, it's an investment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, investment. Yeah, that yeah. word always hits. She doesn't. She said no. <laughs> she, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Oh, she's so gonna write your check. Yeah, so, a check. It's fine. Uh, the biggest thing is investments. Hey, we don't have checkbooks. But. Returns. Mm-hmm. ROIs. Yeah. Assets. She's gonna Venmo us. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I have Venmo now, so you can Venmo me twenty five grand. It's fine. Right. Uh, and I'll I'll monitor what Jan's gonna do with it. <laughs> Perfect. Create it's be assets, trailer. not debt. Right. That's right. What? We're yes. we're creating <laughs> assets. But the, that debt is going to, yes. There's a whole formula. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'll have my stockbroker talk to your stockbroker. Right. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Brisket. <laughs> have your wife talk to my wife. Right. Brisket. <laughs> That's actually Times true. pi uh, minus. <laughs> the <was> circumference. <laughs> Definitely the circumference. And so. 3.14. Mm, uh, pi. Mm. Mm. Wow. That 11% yeah. percent beer is a hell of a beer, isn't it? Yeah. It's good stuff. I, I drank that one beer. My other beer is just sitting here. I'm like, I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> yeah. I already, like, little Dave Chappelle's like. I'm already starting to get faded. Cocaine, cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of that, it's. Coconut rum? Coconut rum. Or coconut, whatever the hell that shit is. Exactly. It's good. Man, I. There's a train on rails and it's off the rails <laughs> right now. Uh, I'm, I gotta admit, I'm really enjoying. That Oklahoma Joe smoker. Tell us more. Uh, <laughs> hey, did y'all have a conversation over there? Or what? I, I did. I was like, like I just really appreciate you. you. I want you I to know that. I saw him hugging like, it. Did you give a little pat on the, it was on the a, firebox? A pat. It was a little too hot for a hug. Yeah. Um, but the one I had before is that New Bronzeville, which I don't know if they got bought out. I don't. They don't really exist uh, anymore. They were bought out, and then they quit making that that brand. And yeah. They, they still make it somewhere with a different logo on it, but yeah. And that one, I had to like fight to keep a fire going in that thing and it was just a constant struggle i had to have a fan blowing into the firebox at all times just to keep that fire going and everything mm. this one has just been like freaking easy like yeah, it's it, easy it, it just wants to be at like 300 degrees I it just, love it. just so, wants it it just yeah just, just wants to put out that heat i wish we had uh we get big enough we can have it. somebody to come over it. and like animate some of our conversations or whatever <laughs> yeah and then yeah they'd just be mad just by a smoker's like the smoker's like hey I got you, bro, man. You don't have to worry, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Just, uh, this old one's give like, me your meat. <laughs> put more wood. Put more I'm wood. Hungry. Yeah. Smoke. Hey, what hungry. are you doing? I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah. It was a toxic relationship with the New Bronze It was. Yeah. The Oklahoma Joe's like, hey, man, just hey, go whoa, take a nap, bro. bro. I, got I got you. This. I got you. Hey. Yeah. All, like all the pork steaks are spread across it. I checked all of them. All of them were like the exact same temperature. So it's like like nice and What's, even heat hey. across the whole thing. Oh, it's just yeah, this, this Oklahoma nice. Joe's like very just like it's gonna start sending you text messages like, uh, like right. hey man, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing this hey, weekend? Come outside, bro. Come on. This brisket you're working on, it looks amazing. Like does it? it had the nice stuff you were putting on off on the lot, the the new Braunfels was was great. So I'm anxious to try this. Is this is this wrapped? It's wrapped. Yes. Okay. How was the bark? 
It looked good. Yeah, it looked really, really good. Really a good. nice color. We, we had the peach paper right here. You've, I, I'm, I'm fixing. We're gonna fire this thing up, or maybe we'll just fire yours up, Matt. And I'll just leave it we'll, going. We'll just do a. Uh, I, w- I want to do the peach paper. What do you want just to do peach with the paper? Peach paper? Yeah. I'm going to cook the mocha son. The, ma- the mocha son. Yeah. yeah. We ha- did we ever try that? The uh, you did. We, a I did one. Yeah. Yeah. By the we were trying it. How did it turn out? I didn't try it till like three days later. Uh-huh. It was fine. Yeah. Um, at that point, it's hard to tell. Like it's 24 hours of uh, yeah. not, not not sleeping. What <laughs> right. we're talking like, about, if you don't know, is um, at the bottom, it's tin foil, and on top, it's the uh, butcher paper. Right, when you wrap it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's hard to tell, because once a brisket's been cooked, and then you let it sit in the fridge for a day or two, it's going to be... And then you reheat it, it's going to be super tender and everything else. But And the bark's <laughs> going to be pretty much gone at that point because it's been reheated and sitting and whatever else. But uh, we should have tried it that day. Yeah. I, so I saw this. Um, Aaron Franklin is um, selling his briskets. You can buy whole briskets from Aaron Franklin. He's been selling his brisket for well, a long time. But you can order a whole brisket <laughs> like online. He'll, he'll mail them to you. Right. <laughs> really? Yeah. So uh, they have – it's a uh, it's, Really, uh, YouTube, uh, what, do you, what do you call them? They're stars, whatever it is. But he's he's the guy that does. Um, I want to say he's like in Arizona, or he's in he's somewhere like that. It's where he, he bases his houses, whatever. But he's always he's got a bar- barbecue channel, hmm. and he basically orders one and heats it up and and cooks or, or eats it, whatever. But when when he's slicing into it, that bark is killer. Really, it's a killer. I'm like, I don't know what's what. What are they doing, or how they're, what that process is for them? But yeah. it looks really good. I have not had Aaron Franklin's brisket, but for me, I'm like, it's it's one of those deals. Like, I don't want to have it. I want to have it, but I don't want to have it. It'll just be it'll ruin you because it's 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 like a myth. Like a, it's almost like you buy a lottery ticket and you you fantasize about <laughs> right winning, spending that money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you hold off on checking your numbers because as soon as you check it and you lose, that's gone. Right. So you're saying you're going to taste Franklin's and it's going to be like not what you expect. Not as good as you I expect. So. It, I think so. I'm going to try yeah. it. I'm going to go. You can bet mine's better than that. Well, this is just <laughs> uh, salt and pepper. Regular. This is regular brisket, like Killen's yeah. or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very right. well cooked piece of meat with salt and pepper. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's like the um, Schrodinger's. Schrodinger's uh, cat? Cat. Yeah. Right? Dog. Do you open the Pavlov's. box? Pavlov's. Yeah. yeah. The cat, you, you put a cat in a box, right? Pavlov had the dog. Schrodinger had the cat. Yeah. The cat. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you open the, is the cat dead or not, right? Right. The cat, <laughs> if the, so that's what it is. Yeah. Right now, the cat is both dead and alive. While it's in the box. While it's in the box. You don't know. You don't know. Right. You leave it for a year. You don't know. It could be alive. You don't know until you open the box. It's probably not alive after a year. It doesn't matter. You don't know, though. Eh, well, if it starts to smell funny, <laughs> you just don't know, though. That's what I'm saying. You don't. I feel like I know. Yeah. You don't, you don't it know. It smells like rotten eggs. I haven't it, fed it in a year. It, I'm it pretty sure be, it's. Uh... It could be a sealed box. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You won't know until you open the box. Okay. Uh, which for you, James, yeah, it's you know you're like you don't know until you taste yes, it. This is Schrodinger's brisket. Yeah, yeah. It's getting right. deep in here. Yeah, it is. Right. Very sick. Wow. We've all watched Big Bang. I don't know if it's the uh, what the, is it? <laughs> the Big Bang. I don't know if it's a barreled treasure coconut that, stout that I've so been drinking, from? but uh-huh. anybody else that. getting like just a little warm? Um, like it, the temperatures raised up a couple yeah, degrees. Put your pants back on, Jim. <laughs> <That's> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, we watched you undress, thinking like there was something you were doing, but yeah. you just you just clearly he, just sat down. I thought he had an itch or something. I don't right. know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a that's odd. <laughs> Super odd. Has anybody here ever had Aaron Franklin's barbecue? Nope. I'm not. I, don't, I haven't either. No. Okay. Maybe we should do a grab their brisket road show. Yeah, I'm sure. He's reached out many times for us to record at his <laughs> no. place. So. We'll show up at his restaurant well, he should, without we, saying anything and just start recording. We, like took, in the, <laughs> we took his master class. Just do like a yes, consultant. Uh, like, we know you need con- consulting, so yeah. we'll just show up at a restaurant. It's cool. Here's our credentials. <laughs> Right, Hold up a right. grabbing a brisket sticker and right. koozie. Yeah, You're obviously yeah. not doing it correctly. Uh, I'm sorry. So. Is there like a VIP area? Do we just stand over here, right. Aaron? Is, <laughs> is Aaron even here? Yeah, don't let anybody else in yet. We need to. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a part of the media. Yeah. Hey, I've got credentials. <laughs> I'm with uh, the band, dude. <laughs> exactly. That was great. I love it. Hey, but here, here's the deal. I, I'm right there with you, James. 
there's some places like okay snow's barbecue i definitely want to go try that out mm-hmm. right i don't know if it's actually going to be um it's going to be good it's it is going to be going to be knock your socks off maybe not but I feel like it's going to be that way for anybody that can cook good barbecue. Like, you cook yeah. barbecue the way you like it. So, for anybody else to do it, it might not be the way you like it. Yeah, you know what maybe. I mean? Yeah. I mean, what are some things that you guys do personally when you're making your own brisket that you, like, wouldn't do at a competition or something like that? Like, like me personally, I like to leave more fat on the brisket than I would do if I was doing a competition. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I like to have, uh, I, I don't trim it as much. You know yeah. what I mean? That's I'll be just honest, me personally. I, I season and pre- prepare my brisket the same way at home versus a competition. A competition. Right, same yeah. same way. I'm yeah. pretty similar. Yeah. Really? Uh, you don't do anything different? No. For the most part, no. I might try out different rubs and stuff. I don't inject. While, I don't do any of that stuff at home. But seasoning wise, outside, dude, yeah, loaded okay, up. Okay. So yeah, you 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 inject at competitions, but not when you're doing your own personal Correct. brisket. Yeah. Okay. I, but not because you like it more or less, right? Just, just doesn't make. <laughs> is it a lazy thing, thing or, or you, just, you don't care about the flavor? Or it's what? a combination of both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like I don't really want to get up and do this, whatever. But uh, <laughs> at home, it, it doesn't really matter because it, end of the day, you're cooking this brisket, and your friends and family are coming over. They're going to eat it and go, "This is the best shit ever." Right, whether or not it's been whether injected. or not it's in, injected or or whatever. I mean, maybe injection will help. Add a little more beefiness to it, or or, or brisket wise, but just, that's the one part about about those injections that I don't like. It it does change the flavor of the brisket, uh, right? Because right. in in competition, you only get one bite, and you need every tiny bit of flavor. You, you, you do need as much a whole bunch of it. You're like, you God but, damn, that's a lot yeah. of beefy flavor. I, I know, I know, but that's part of the like. There's something to do with when you're eating a piece of a brisket that hasn't been injected. That it's it's. Um, how do you uh, it's it's a it's definitely a different flavor but mm-hmm. it's a it's more of a real flavor I, I always think like the injections put in a little artificialness yeah right and it's just not it's not good like I, I, I wouldn't mind just injecting with beef broth whatever um, but I don't know I don't know if they really you can't helps. eat a lot of it yeah I don't think it really helps yeah there's one thing that I like doing personally when I cook a brisket I do like the S and P rub, mm-hmm. the coarse, you know, kosher salt, and the coarse black pepper. I like that combination. I don't just do that one combination though. I do add other things, but I like the way the bark. Yeah, I agree. I like sits the up. coarseness on there, and, and your seasoning is good. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, I agree. That's good. So, but one of the very first brisket I ever, I well, my very first brisket I ever made, um, I was probably sixteen or seventeen. I used uh, like four rubs. Like it was um, garlic powder, uh, pepper, um, Tony's, and Montreal seasoning. A lot of Montreal seasoning. I remember that. A lot of mm-hmm. Montreal seasoning. And everybody was like, oh, man, it's really good. I, I didn't think about this. I thought it was like shit, personally. <laughs> but everybody was like, man, this is really good. And I was like, okay, cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. That was jeans. He's like, oh, I'll put this on there. I was like, okay, cool. I don't remember what yeah. I did for my first brisket, but I do remember Jared telling me that he thought it was the best brisket I ever made. Was my first one. Really? Yeah. And I want to say it was re- there was no injection. I know that. And I want to say it was probably just like salt, pepper, garlic, and like Fiesta brisket seasoning. I, I'm sure I was doing like the most simple thing yeah. that I could possibly do. Well, you do. cannot go wrong with Fiesta brisket seasoning. Yeah. No, it's, a, that stuff it's is really good. classic. If you want to make a good brisket, just that you can't go wrong with that. Even yeah. in the oven. Like you, if you don't have a smoker, yeah. like you ever made one in the oven before? I have not, but I believe you. It, make one, make <laughs> them in the oven. It, it comes out just the same. Like you don't get the smokiness. Just the same. Uh, but yeah, you don't get the smokiness, but, but you, the, the heat flavor is the wise, heat. It, yeah. it'll be really good. It's almost just like huh. a badass like roast. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I yeah. have finished uh, a brisket in the oven. I ran out of wood. Oh, I've done that. Oh, for sure. You've done yeah. that. Yeah. And by the time you wrap it, you're like, well, it's just heat at that point. Once you wrap you know? it, it makes no difference. That's yeah. why. That's why it's so like you could do like really truthfully, if you had a big enough heater or big enough heat source or whatever, you could just wrap off the wood, off the, like you know, mm-hmm. off the pit, off the pit, and keep rotating because you're. Yeah, I'm not sure if restaurants do that or not, but yeah. maybe they could. I watched I mean, a guy, uh, not yeah. to sidetrack, uh, I watched a guy on TikTok. Apparently, he's got like a little bit of following or whatever, but so he, he does a lot of like cooking 
And he's like, in one of the videos that I watched, it's like, this is what I do. Like, I, I cook briskets and freeze them for a later date of when we do whatever. So, there's a video of him. The, the brisket is wrapped in foil. It's full of juice. And he almost, he, he's got the, the, the brisket kind of like on its side or whatever. And then somebody comes in and like jabs with a knife on the the side of the brisket and just boosh, all the the au jus that's in this foil pack just leaking out into a pan just like like before he freezes it or what are we talking correct about? yeah i guess he he removes all the the au jus that's yeah. been collected and then lets it cool he doesn't unwrap it I mean, is he, he just cutting? Like is he that? just cutting the foil, it, or is he cutting into the meat? He's he just, just cutting, cutting the, foil. the foil. Okay, okay. He's just like poking the foil, and then all the aju just drips out into this pan. Now that's the only TikTok that I I saw. I didn't see number two to see what he, if he does he freeze or hang on to the aju. Okay. I, mm. I don't know, but foil on tack, boom, it goes into the freezer. Nice. So he drains it and then freezes it. Right. That's weird. That's yeah, yeah. That's really weird. I don't know. Why don't you eat it? <laughs> like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't. Hey, it's like I saw the guy on uh, on one on YouTube. Whatever. He got roasted. He takes this brisket. He's like, he's trying to do his teaching video, and he's like, he separates the uh, the, the 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 two muscles, right? The, the point and the flat. Yep. So he he separates them, and then he basically like. He says, "You don't really want this one. This one's not really going to be good, and it's the it's the point." What? And he what? throws it like like <laughs> aside, right? Uh. And then he's like, and he he's like telling this like millions of people have seen seen this, right? He's like he's like basically discards the whole thing. He's like, "Oh, we don't we don't you don't want that. It's not going to be good or whatever else." He's this is really what you want? And he, he's like cutting, makes the slices out of the flat. I'm like, "What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, are, right." People are going to listen to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> that so, dude's trolling. He has no, to dude. be trolling. No, him. he's like an old, old guy that's just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not a, whatever. He's just like, no, and he's he's very informative. Not really. He he thinks he knows what he's doing, but that was horrible. I was like, Ooh. I, oh I eat God. the point first. Yeah. Who, who the doesn't? Flat, the flat is just like, that's how I show that I can cook a good brisket. Yeah. Like, that's like my demonstration that this, you know, I know how to cook. Yeah. I, I want to eat the point. I love slicing <laughs> the brisket. Up until you get to the point area, mm-hmm. and then you keep slicing, and then you have like a top layer of like flat, yeah. flat, I, and then I, a bottom layer of yeah. I love like it. moist. Yeah. So you get both. I love it. I see a lot of these videos nowadays. They just separate, yep, and cut them different. And it's or horrible. Aaron Franklin say like chop, chop, chop until they get to that, and they 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 ninety degrees rotate it, and then start cutting the just the point itself. Yep, I'm like, yep. I love having both parts at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. You agree, right, Jan- yes. right John? Yes. All the stuff. What are you, you doing, said. John? Yes. Are you are you on the phone? Are you watching TikTok? I think he, I think he was just messaging Aaron Franklin right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fine. Uh, he he's still begging us to come out and try his stuff. And right. told him we don't have time. Right. Our schedules yeah. a little bit different. When I can fit you in, bro. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, One of these days we're going to take a road trip and we need to go to We Slaughter Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Where's that? Texas. Um, it's over whatever. there by the Lagrange area. Okay. It's where they shot. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh. The gas station portion of it. Yep. Of course you want to go there, James. Yes. Horror fan, barbecue fan. Hey, well, okay, like. okay, okay, here's here's a deal. Right, Kayla guys. can come too, Matt. Bring Kayla. <laughs> yeah. What? She would actually James enjoy that. Kayla, we'll the 1978 <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre where they have the gas station scene where the kids show up is in LaGrange. Not LaGrange. Outside of LaGrange. So this person bought it. And then revamped it. Still looks the same, but he opened a barbecue restaurant and called it "We Slaughter Barbecue." I love it. It's it's, it's a genius idea. We yeah. should go. We should go. And if we listen, if you look at a calendar right now, you could pick a weekend, and we could just go. Make the plans. If we don't make the plans, we're not going to go. Right. We say we should. Oh, we should John? do this one of these days. We'll oh. just do this. Shoot him. Shoot him yeah. a message. John, get on yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can do a podcast there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. It's only a couple hours away. Okay. When's the next holiday? Well, Veterans Day? What's the next one? Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Martin yeah. Luther King's. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to show up in my Michael Myers mask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> yeah. The whole podcast, he's just not even talking. He's just, he's just staring at everybody. With a fake knife. <laughs> right. Like, it's a different movie. Doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter. I'm gonna have a, <laughs> I'm gonna have a bowl of like this is totally Michael Myers saying well, whatever, but I'm gonna have a bowl of chili and it's just gonna be full of beans. <laughs> oh God, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> because Michael Myers is not Texas. Oh, I got you, got you. Texas wow. Chainsaw Massacre. This Texas. This Texas. This Texas. Yeah, that's okay. true. I think Myers is like from like. Ohio? Ohio. Yeah, Scranton. <laughs> <laughs> this concludes the end of our episode. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Okay. This is the point in time where you just click stop. What, what do you call this? The mini? Is this a mini EP? I don't know. No. It feels like it's going to be I'm a while. I'm not calling the mini anymore because none of them are actually mini. I'm just They're calling never it like a, like a bonus episode. A bonus. Uh, It'll pop too. But who knows? Who knows where this one will pop in? This may pop in this week. It may pop in in a month. It just depends you on when I want to use it. Three episodes. You take pictures. We, we don't even know. It could happen. We pictures. Okay, yeah, so we'll we got pictures. Uh, I would like to, you know we can post some pictures of like when we put this this EP up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll have some pictures of the brisket, the chicken, everything else has been going yeah. on, and whatever. Just do your job, I, I, Yeah, let me just I'll, okay. Just write, make a note, and I'll do whatever okay. you need me to. When's do? the last time I'll you checked you, on your chicken? I'll send you an email. Shit. <laughs> I'll send you an email. Yeah, do that. Right. Yeah. I'll send you an email. <laughs> yeah, uh, grab them in the brisket at gmail.com. That's right. Oh, nice. like that. Yeah. Nice. And yeah. check out the website. World Wide Web. Grab the brisket. Dot TTP. Simon colon. No, no, colon. It's regular colon. No, colon. Yeah. Grabbing the brisket backslash. I'm just kidding. Okay. All that is right. Hey, we appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Peace. Thanks, everybody. We've been great. And let's talk barbecue later. Oh, oh. Is that a new little thing we're doing? Okay. Okay. Dang it, Bobby. Just grab the brisket. Thanks for listening, guys. Special thanks to our sponsors Jealous Devil Charcoal, Getty, Cooley Nation, Cambro Manufacturing, Texas Brew Hopper, Smoke Sheet, and Fiesta Spices. For more information on those companies, please check out our website at grabbingthebrisket.com.